So that was you right there trying to go up a hill with a bunch of cars passing you by and you truck gonna go above 45 and you got plenty of smoke coming out. And usually we first suspect, uh, you know what? I got bad injector. I have bad injectors. And you tell your mechanic you got bad injectors and more than likely you're gonna have bad injectors. Okay, but then you also realize that, hey, it might be the turbo. Why? Because you got black smoke. It won't go above 45. And hey, it probably is a bad turbo. So you tell your mechanic, hey, I have a bad turbo. They'll check it out. And yeah, you got a bad turbo. And you might be wondering, hey, Jose, was well, there a way I can test it without a scanner? Yeah, there's two ways. You can pull the engine codes without a scanner, or you can also test it the following way to find out if a turbo is messing up. So let's just say you're by yourself. Go ahead and put your phone on with the camera on this position, open up the key, and see if your vehicle does this whenever you open the key on it. Okay, so if it does this, then yeah, you have some st stuck bounds in there. Also, go ahead and crank it up and see if it continues to do it. Give it some gas, and if it continues to do this, then yeah, more than likely you have a turbo issue. I wouldn't rule out the injectors, but more than likely this is your issue. So let me explain to you what goes inside of a turbo so you might get a better understanding of this. Please watch the video to the end. Thank you. Okay, so inside of your turbo, if you do open it, you have these things called turbo veins. Okay, you might be wondering, okay, how does that affect it? Well, if you can see around there, uh, you have some veins that are open. If you look on the left hand side, uh, they're kind of close and if you look on the right hand side, they look open So in a turbo you have two different items You're gonna have your electrical and you're also gonna have a mechanical if the electrical is malfunction Also, the mechanical is gonna be malfunction and I will show you here Exactly what makes these veins open and close hold on. Okay, so on certain 2004 some 2003s and all the way up this is your actuator this is electronically controlled by the computer the computer would generate certain uh, electricity and that's what tells the turbo to open or close the veins and usually the veins inside of it will either get worn out or this electrical item will get damaged it has like a little lift on it that opens and closes as you saw in the video now on these older models, uh, you're going to find an actuator similar to this. Uh, these ones are a little bit less complicated and they're easier to change and they're a whole lot cheaper if you can see. Okay, hopefully you guys learned something here and let's take it to the house. Well guys, hopefully you guys learned something here today. So just a quick touch up on what we spoke about today. Uh, most of the symptoms for this kind of turbos will be one, you're getting uh, black smoke. Two, your truck won't go over 45. And three, you lose power. You can't go up hills. But I'm not saying completely that it might not be an injector. It might be an injector, but this is a good way to rule out the turbo so that you're not just going back and forth. And like I said, you don't need a mechanic and you don't need a scanner to do this. So uh, if you guys like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that button right there and hit subscribe thank you guys